What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the wood shop. Today we got some finish to put on a custom piece of furniture and as you know we're always using that OD oil on pretty much everything we got. Today we're going to mix it with one of their white pigments to get a crazy cool subtle but frosted color on this white oak. Come check it out. Alrighty, so we just finished up this custom hutch. It's got four doors, a wine rack in the center, three drawers, and it's all made out of white oak. The client looked through a few of our samples uh, of finishes and chose the white pigment mixed with the Odie's oil finish as the one that she wanted. It's one of our favorites too with white oak because it just really turns the white oak into a little bit that whiter gray color tone as opposed to allowing it to turn into that kind of yellow color tone that sometimes white oak can. So what we have is the original formula, the Odie's oil all purpose. We have the Mr. Cornwall's creative colors in titanium white. And of course, we have just something that we can mix the two with. This is just a cut off of a plastic water bottle. We have our white Scotch-Brite applicator. This is how we always apply our Odie's oil. We got a stir stick and a rag for buffing off the excess oil when we're done. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna pour out a little bit of the Odie's oil into this plastic container, and we're gonna mix in the titanium white. So. This has not been stirred up yet. And as you can see, the all-purpose oil comes in a really pretty heavy, almost honey-like consistency. What you wanna do is you really wanna get in there and mix this stuff up as much as you possibly can. It'll kinda of warm up the consistency of everything, making it flow a little bit easier. We're just using a scrap piece of wood that we hold aside when we cut smaller items as a stir stick. As you can see, it's already kind of changing the color tone. It gets cloudier like it is right now. So we're just gonna stir this up just a little bit more. We're gonna just take the jar that we're kind of putting it into here and I'm just gonna let some of it run off of the stir stick. And let it drain down in there. What we're gonna be finishing is just one of the shelves that's gonna be going into this hutch piece. So we have two shelves, one on either side of the hutch, and we'll show you the piece here in just a second. So we really don't need that much right now. What we're gonna do is just pretty much be good with just that. We'll set the Odie's oil to the side. Right here, we have that titanium white creative color pigment. It comes in a powdered form, and so it's made to be mixed into the Odie's oil. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take what would probably be considered a teaspoonful, just on the end of the knife, toss it right into the oil here, and that's gonna be plenty for what we're using for this piece. I have another nice clean stir stick here and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure that we fully incorporate the titanium white pigment into the Odie's Oil general purpose oil there. As you can see, it's pretty easy to combine these things and you get that white paste. It almost looks like cake frosting or something that you'd uh, almost wanna eat, but definitely don't. What we're gonna do now is now that we mixed everything up, we're just gonna make sure that the piece that we're finishing has no dust and no other things sitting on top of it. We're just gonna give it a quick wipe down with our rag. And all we're gonna do here is take our mixture. I'm just gonna apply some to our scotch Bright.
and we're just going to work it into the surface of the wood. As you can see already, that white pigment starts to fall down in the checking of the white oak and it just starts to brighten up the piece of material right away. What's nice about this is it's just really subtle. It's not made to turn the piece of wood white. Although if you check on the Odie's Oil website, you can see different solutions that you can mix up with their uh, hazard-free solvent and the pigment to get something that really is covering and making the material look white. This is something that we like because we really like just how natural it looks. And if you didn't know that we put the pigment on it, you'd probably never have any idea that anything was uh, not just a clear finish on here. So we're just working it in to the surface of the wood. And you can just start to see that white come to life in all of the grain of the white oak here. Obviously you can see how long Odie's oil will go. We've just used just a couple dabs on the scotch bright here and we're almost all the way through the whole piece. I really only like to mix up as much as I need right at the moment. That way we're making sure we're not wasting any. And I have no idea what the shelf life is of combining the two products and leaving it on the shelf. I would assume it would last a long time. Obviously you'd always want to mix it up before using it. But like I said, we just like mixing up just what we need for what we're covering at that moment. So after I can see that the white has gotten into all the checking all the way across the whole piece, what we're gonna do is just take that and just do some long strokes all the way down and back just to make sure we go a different direction. That looks pretty good to me. What we'll do is we'll just lightly take off any of the excess here. We're not buffing it, we're not using much pressure. We're just taking off any of the excess that's just sitting up on top of the white oak. And what we'll do at this point is we'll just let this sit for an hour. We'll come back and we'll buff it off with some pressure with this rag. And you'll see that finish will settle in really well to all the wood. It'll saturate all the checking. It'll keep the white in all the uh, voids and cracks and crevices. And it just turns out brilliantly perfect. It's subtle and it's a clean way to really brighten up white oak. Specifically with the titanium white. We really like doing this on our white oak. So hang tight one hour we'll buff it then it'll be done alrighty so it's been about 40 45 minutes we're just going to take our cotton rag and we're just gonna buff off all the excess oil sitting on top of the wood so we just come in here with just a circular motion you can already see that it's just coming down into that beautiful matte finish All that white has been left behind inside the grain. And right here, I have another chunk of white oak that I just threw the Odie's Oil, you know, universal finish on, which is the same exact piece of white oak. It was an off cut off this end. I'm going to do is I'm just going to buff this. This does not have that titanium white pigment in it. I wanted to put this, put a coat of finish on this piece just to show you the contrast between having the titanium white in the Odie's oil as opposed to not. And as you can see pretty quickly, 
The white oak finished in just the Odie's oil is much more yellow, has the gray and darker brown tones, whereas the white oak finished in the Odie's oil and the titanium white pigment has much a brighter and lighter feel with all that white sitting down in the grain. So just to see a side by side, Now, we do a bunch of work with white oak. Really, white oak is one of our only lighter woods we work with here in our shop. We also work a bit with maple and a couple other things, but we build a lot of furniture in white oak. Having the ability to leave the white oak feeling really natural, but brightening the tonality of it with a thing like a pigment in our natural finish of Odie's oil is something we have been super ecstatic about. Again, this is just the way that we have been doing it. If you guys wanna search out more ways and different uh, techniques that you can use with Odie's Oil and with their pigments, go to odiesoil.com. They have a bunch of really good videos that you can learn from. Like I said, this is just how we have been doing it. You guys, we're super stoked you watched this video. If you learned something or found it helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.